<laughs> all right, so it is Friday, which means time for our all new not so awesome news show. I'm Otto. And I'm Andrew. And he's back. You know how was how was playing uh, basketball with a dog? I lost. I lost. <laughs> oh, should I take in the bet? Anyways, uh, we got like a you know few comic book stories, some pictures, and a few trailers for things coming up. So yeah. <laughs> All right, so first thing of news. Uh, first thing, actually, I want to talk about that's not related to this. E three is next week. I'm excited, even though I never go. It, so. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it. I missed it last year. You didn't see it last year. No, I missed it at all. Yeah, because that was the just purely online. Yeah. Um, no, point. I thought one was on TV. Uh, I swear, I think. Then Xbox, I probably missed two years. Then. I think Xbox was on TV. PlayStation was only there, and there was no Nintendo last year. Oh, yeah, I did miss that one then. And I, I think I missed the previous one, too. You just didn't feel like watching on YouTube? Uh, so it's by then, like, all the information's out on its own. Yeah. Videos, you know, to sit through, like... Like, they always have to, like, have a concert with, like, some band. Like, yeah. Like, I don't care about you. <laughs> and then there's always that doll in the show where they're, like, showing off the, uh... The novelty controller. Like, yeah. Hey, we're gonna show off Connect now, and we're gonna have these dancers choreograph stuff that... It's gonna look fun on TV, but in practice... Yeah. You're going to look like an idiot. <laughs> um, in the PlayStation movies, I don't know, I think they got, I think they like completely phased that out, actually. Really? I think so. I haven't heard anything for the PlayStation 4. And the uh, Kinect is like being kind of... Repositioned? Of, yeah, of, with the, with the whole say. you don't need it anymore to buy an Xbox One, which yeah. is good. Because privacy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously. Um. Anyways, we'll do more of that on Friday next week when all the announcements come out. Uh, anyways, first up, we have the Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix trailer from E3, actually. Uh, that's supposed to be... I don't know why it's up early. Because E3 still leaked. comes out early. It's not leaked, it's on free and IGN. Oh, really? <laughs> um, but, yeah, we have the uh, the trailer, and uh shows off the graphics and everything. It's in English this time. I believe the trailer <laughs> was already released in Japan. Of but course. The main difference is at the very end of it, they kind of tease uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Right. But in like it's always now in development. It's not I even. Hate, yeah. It's not even like hey we have this like small trailer. We hey we have this small cutscene to show you. It's here's some words. Here's some speaking languages. Right. And now in development. So excited. It's gonna take a while. Yeah, it is. But yeah, the uh, HD two point five remake comes with Kingdom Hearts two, Birth by Sleep, which is awesome because that was a handheld one. Oh, really? Yeah, it's the one for the PSP, which was really good. I was about to say, is that the one that you play over and over and over again? Like, different... Yeah, there's, like, three different, three, three okay. different characters, and you play through their three stories, right. and, uh, like, they all collide at the end. Yeah, I remember that. And then there's the... What is it? Uh, Recoded, which... Coded was a game they made for cell phones, and then they redid it for DS. I didn't know that. And it's basically, was... like, playing through, like, the first game, kind of. Like, you do worlds from there. Yeah, or is it that's, game? I'm assuming smartphone, that's when it came out or something? Yeah, I, I think it was, it was only in Japan. Oh, okay, yeah. never mind. That. No. But the DS Clear. version of it was good. And uh, it does actually lead in into uh, the third game a little bit. Oh, really? Yeah, not as, not as much as uh, the DS one, the 3DS one that came out. Yeah, but it still was, ties in somehow? Yeah, it still slowly ties in. The 3DS one kind of mentions it. He gets like a letter at the end of that that leads into the oh, other okay. one. Oh, that's pretty cool. one I can't. They need to make that for consoles because that one was really well. It was like that could have been a three by itself. Oh really? Yeah, or two point five, but they're doing it weird. <laughs> uh, next up, we have the Mighty Avengers Alliance Tactics trailer. I don't know. Uh, you know what amazes me though? What? After looking at the trailer and realizing it's a Facebook game, it's the fact that it looks like that and it's a Facebook game. Yeah, but still, um, I don't know. I still associate Facebook games with Candy Crush. And um, microtransactions, which I'm sure there's going to be plenty of. Yeah, but, I don't know. I tactical just saw it, I, I just, I don't know. I'm not a fan of tactical games. I, I like it. Like I like it tactical was, uh, games. I, I like the strategy-based kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, if it was a strategy, if it was a real-time strategy. Yeah. Yeah. But the fact it's just a tactical game, I'm not even sure how you play it. like kind of reminds me of uh, the Marvel Nemesis games and that stuff, just without, looks like you don't have that much freedom. Yeah. Um, a lot more like Final Fantasy Tactics, I guess. Which I like, in a way, it's 
reminiscent of a real time strategy, but you know you can't like. But still, you're taking turns. That's the, that's the main difference yeah. between real time strategy, which, like Halo Wars, that was, really good. Yeah. And it's like a lot of people are like that's just a watered down thing for consoles, but. Yeah, but. I mean. I don't know. I looked at it. and I'm like, I just kind of deterred away from it. I don't know, but I would assume it's free because it's Facebook, so that that's like a bonus, right? Uh, there's a person in the comment of that video said, can you just make Ultimate Alliance 3 instead? <laughs> and it's like, why don't they? I mean, Ultimate Alliance 3 stopped with, what, the Civil War storyline? Yeah. I don't know if they did Secret Invasion, but they have, like, uh, Avengers vs. X-Men. How awesome would it be to be, like, pick one-sided group, freaking go Dark Phoenix on them? Um, I don't know. It, just, it would be awesome to see that game. Like, a nice HD graphics yeah. and stuff. It kind of, like, Lego freaking Lego Marvel. Like, was kind of, like, the answer to that in a way. Yeah. Uh, but not well, completely. Yeah, I was, I was It's just the fact that you had, like, the giant open world is fucking awesome. Yeah. But still, I, I don't know. I Same thing with Lego games. I'm not very into them. I wasn't much. either, but I, I saw that one. It's, like, in those open world. I mean, there's missions, but it's also open world. Yeah. And just fucking flying around as Iron Man. <laughs> just, like, flying straight up and, like, letting the jets go and, like, watching them fall for a good while before you kick in and fly. Right. It's, it's fun. It's good times. Uh, next up, we have the Guardians of the Galaxy TV spot number two, which is kind of funny because I didn't know it was a number one. Um, it looked it, it looked the same to me. As they the added, last there was trailer. a few more clips. Just I feel like bit. one of those clips is going to be at the ending of the movie. I agree with you. And you know why I say this? Because every single trailer, almost every single trailer I've ever seen, the ending, like even like the credit scene, even if it's like just the credit scene, it's either the climax scene is in the freaking trailer, or the end thing with the. Like, one of the big things they did with um, Dark Knight was they always showed Batman and his freaking motorcycle driving away at the end of the credits. Right. They always showed that scene in the freaking trailers. And it's like, well, that's how the movie ends. Yeah. Well, I guess I kind of, like, I kind of understand because it's kind of, like, almost the best scene of the movie or something. They just try to hook you so you could just, you know, go. I know. Um, a lot of people do complain, like, oh, they spoiled too much in the trailer. Just what, then stop watching the trailers right now. Cause I, I <laughs> watch like, them after you like, watch Like, don't movie. even watch this. I, I wouldn't say don't watch this trailer, but I would say stop with this one if you're going to. Yeah. Because a lot, I saw a lot of people complaining about uh, Spider-Man, which I didn't even see it. Oh, really? Say that the trailers ruined the movie for them. But, at but the they don't time, realize like, after the after the like, fact after they watch the movie like they're watching it they're like oh that was in the trailer but I mean if it, if they already knew off the straight off the bat and like, if, if you're kind of like familiar with everything in Spider Man kind of I feel like you can guess yeah. every more well, not everything not like, only that if you already know the the storyline you're sitting there you're like okay well this is where they messed up well either way you kind of ruin the movie for yourself yeah, was, yeah they, they do a lot of things with the X Men movies that made me feel like that which by the way did you see the X Men movie no. I'm going to say it was bad, because it wasn't. Right. It's still not X-Men, but it's still not horrible. It's. Is it getting it, there? Is it? There's an it, was it start from I mean, here I mean, they, they, they at least, they fix things. Okay. So, well, at least they're trying, I guess. Yeah, they're, they're trying. I mean, they, they uh, just give it back to Marvel already. Um, <laughs> next up, we have the Batman timeline release for Batman 75th anniversary. And by timeline, I don't mean, like, story-wise. I mean, like, releases. Like, here we have, like, the very first thing they show is 1939. Uh, Batman and uh, Commissioner Gordon make their first debut in uh, Detective Comics right. number 27. Then we go to, like, 1940 with the first Robin. I mean, it's cool for collectors. Like, I mean, I think it'd be it's, something It's a poster. Cool. It's going to yeah. be a poster. And it's like, yeah, you know, that's actually... It's it's cool. I like the picture of Batman. They have, like, standing... Okay, yeah, that's the. That is pretty cool. Thing they I have, mean, like, this could also be for novice. I mean, like they could look at it and just be like, "Oh, well, these are the things that are highlighted in here. Maybe I should take check them out." You know. Or if you have like a pop culture class, like here's your freaking. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Just use this, like the thing of Batman. Um, the first Dick Grayson becomes Nightwing in uh, 1984. You know, uh, Batman the animated series. Harley Quinn is introduced. Uh, you know, the relaunch of the New Fifty Two. That's not a good story with the relaunch because I know a lot of people got mad over that. Yeah, I kind of figured. But I don't know. I like it because, like, as a new reader for at least DC, yeah, it's nice being able to like start fresh and not have to be like, how many crises were there? <laughs> there was this many Earths. Which Superman is the main Superman? <laughs> what do you mean I can't get this in actual physical form? <laughs> uh, next up, this October, uh, Archie's going to be releasing. Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. 
And yes, I'm talking about Sabrina the Teenage Witch, which Archie made in, I want to say, it said it here in the 60s. Wow. Um, and you, know, you probably know, you know, it was a TV show. They had like a movie for it, then it became a TV show. Right. They had an animated show. They had like a new animated show for it. And I guess since they did really good with Afterlife with Archie, which I haven't read yet, I really want to. I haven't seen it or read it either. You know what it is? No, what is it about exactly? Uh, if I'm correct, it's basically Archie set in like a zombie universe. Oh, really? That's kind of cool. Um, I really want to check that out. I mean, looking at the covers of this, the Sabrina It thing, looks dark, right? Yeah. It, it's it, meant to be dark. The, the last cover that they have on there kind of reminds me of Goosebumps almost. Yeah. But I, I mean, looking at this, I wish... I, I don't know. A lot of people are a big fan of Buffy. I, I hope it kind of like follows that almost kind of like uh, it's style. like set. It's gonna be set in the '60s. So it's gonna be set when you know Sabrina was originally released. Yeah, which is cool. And I'm like just wondering like I just ah, I'm excited. I'm actually legitimately excited for this, and I can't wait. Did they say how many issues are gonna come out for it? Or uh, I don't, I think it's just a new series. Okay. It doesn't say anything about so it it's being just uh, limited thing. kind of thing. Yeah, it's, just, it's this October, and I'm just I can't wait. Looks awesome. Looks awesome. Gonna read it for sure. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have like a whole bunch of. I like, have super not... secret set photos, yeah. but I don't really. I don't know. Like I haven't seen these actually. Yeah, I've heard. I've these. heard it about it in the news that people talking about, but I haven't actually seen any of the. Right, we have like, like sets from like the Millennium Falcon, which I guess now we know for sure it's like making a return. Yeah. It's pretty um, cool how they're making like, like a full size. Yeah, we have, uh, see, there was, like, a monster here somewhere. Oh, really? Uh, That's ship. Awesome. I don't know what ship that is. Not, like, like, there's too many things in Star Wars for, for me yet to but remember still. names of, like, individual-looking things. This, like, weird monster thing. I like how they're still going with the practical effects. Yeah, I believe, it, I believe they were saying it takes, like, 16 or 17, like, a whole bunch of guys in there to, like, run it or something. Right. I'm not sure if this is it. There might be a different monster that I'm thinking of. But still, like I said, like I, I'm glad they're not going with the whole CGI. I'm glad they're still going with the practical effects to give it yeah, that extra. Yeah, that's good. That's what uh, Indiana Jones should have done. Yeah. They went way too CGI. I didn't even really, like. I watched like a few minutes of it, but I didn't yeah. finish. Like it, it, I mean, it's kind of cool. Like it's a good they could do things where they can't normally do if it's physical. But yeah, like after a while, it kind of like too much of it ruins it. Like I, I'd say use special effects when it comes to. I don't even want to say explosions, but um, like fog or stuff like like lens like, things. Yeah, use some, maybe lighting. Don't use it for things like monsters and stuff. Like try and do it. like Doctor Who does a lot of that stuff. Like yeah. they like paint people up and do it. Um, what else? Does but not only that, it's just if they do it with like actual characters, just be really careful because I noticed like especially like in the Spider Man series when he like when they use them as CGI, there's a little bit. Yeah, if you like, watch the original Spider Man movie, the the one from two thousand one, yeah, you can tell when he's swinging in the city, it's just like yeah, it's so, not it's the awkward. contract is com- like contrasted completely off. But his like he's movement, too bright. his move, yeah, like his body, like I don't know, it's so weird. Yeah, it's uh, it's different. Yeah. It's different. Anyways, uh, short day. That's pretty much all we actually have to talk about this week. Uh, hopefully a lot more stuff. Um, hopefully subtle changes will be I mean, d- different. Yeah. Slightly different. There's nothing different from last week. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> right. I don't know if you're going to be here for like the next well, how many couple weeks? Uh, until maybe June or July. Yeah, Probably most likely July. He's going to actually go... Try and stop the asteroid from hitting the planet, crew <laughs> man. So, well, we'll see but how that, this goes. Hopefully, scheduling you know, and all that. Well, I mean, it's saving the planet, so I, I can understand that part. <laughs> but anyways, that's all we have for this week. Uh, if you guys want to leave a comment below for anything at all, I don't know. Just say hi. So you guys suck. I don't know. Just leave a comment. Um, and hit the like button and subscribe and all that cool stuff. And we will see you, or I will see you next week. And he will see you at some point, maybe, in the future. You know, maybe we'll all see him in the future. I mean, if we see him, then he succeeded and we survived. So, I would hope so. Just just hope. Just hope. (laughs) All right. Thank you for watching. See you guys later. Goodbye. Okay, so it is the end slate and stuff. Yay. Um, Down below, we have the not-so-awesome review for Runaways Volume 1. The unboxing for the Marvel Now Kotobukiya thing, which actually should be something else, but I'm not going to change it. 
because laziness to watch dogs unboxing and my pickup for the week and stuff and yeah hopefully you guys liked the new kind of little set thing i got going on still not done with it so it'll look better hopefully by next week but we will see how that goes so with the lighting just noticed how much i didn't like the lighting but yeah anyways uh that's pretty much it thanks for watching stuff all right cool guy okay. yeah bye